Hey gang, hey friends, hey gay friends. Welcome back, thank you so much for joining me today. I hope this video finds you well. If you're new here then hello, hey, hi, welcome, you okay? Good. Uh, my name is Jo and I do nail stuff. She does stuff, nail stuff, la 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 Christmas. So before we start, I'm going to freeze frame on my desk because I have some stuff that I need to say. And you know what it's like if I try and say it while I'm describing stuff. So. My nails are still naked, I'm not fussed about that, but during this video they get progressively, although it'll probably be a bit mixed up because I've changed the order, um, progressively disgusting. Um, they get colour under them, top coat under them, glitter, just just a whole lot of shit going on under my nails and all over my hands and they start to look really gross. So just just putting it out there, I know they look gross. If you feel the need to tell me, that's fine, but I already know. Uh, the second thing is discount codes. I have three discount codes for you. The usual Team DG for a discount at diamondglitters.co.uk. Uh, the second one is BB Miss Joe 25, and that's for 25% off pop sockets on top of their current 25% discount site wide. Um, and the third one is Born Pretty Store, which is Miss Joe 20. So they are discount codes. Go out, use them, treat yourself. It's Christmas, you deserve it. Um, and I will get on with the video. Okay, are we sitting comfortably? Then I shall begin. We're starting with Butterscotch um, Gel Perfection. This is inspired by Tana Monju, Monjo, Monjo Nails. Um, and I've done two coats of butterscotch, which now look matte because I tried something else first. Uh, I'm now taking Alaska and I'm drawing a walking stick. <laughs> it's a candy cane. Um, and then I'm going to cure that. And then I'm taking cranberry fra fl frame, frame, cranberry frame, cranberry flame. Um, and I'm going to do some really piss poor stripes, but do better. <laughs> Um, and I'm going to cure that. Now I'm going to wipe everything and give it a very light buff. Did I? Maybe I didn't. No, because the nail was buffed already. But I give it a very gentle light buff. Because we're now taking foil it, which is the Gel Perfection Foil Gel. Foil Gel. Uh, and I'm doing a couple of stripes in each direction. That's going to be sort of our, our bow that we're making. Not a full bow, but just, you know. You know when you wrap, do you do that? I wrap presents, I have bows like on the top and then have them go round either side as well. Um, although I got really stingy last year because <laughs> I did tape just to where you could see it but on the underside, no tape, um, no ribbon. Anyway, uh, I'm taking Jade Metallic Foil and I'm patting that all over um, and then I'm going, oh I extended this because it looked um, a bit silly so I'm just adding a bit more Alaska and I'll do a couple of stripes there as well I'm adding a little loop here in foil gel and then just going over those bits because I'd obviously not put enough there um, and then I will go straight in with oh yes doing my little stripies and then I'm going to take Alaska again and draw a gift tag um, I think the one in the um, inspo picture had Xmas written on it but in black but I wanted to add a bit more red um, so I'll do this I'm just doing one coat of that um, I think yes um, and then I will do a little heart in the cranberry flame which is such a good color you have to have it for Christmas everybody loves it at least at least one person a day has cranberry flame um, throughout Christmas um, build up so I'm outlining this with blackout and then I think before I put it in the lamp I'm just going to do a little heart which is kind of teardrop teardrop join them up boom heart and then we're going to top it with a diamond gloss of course of course and then that's what that that blah, 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 blah. that is one done nine to go See, my nails look a stage already because this wasn't the first one I did, I don't think. Maybe it was. I can't remember. Um, okay, we've seen it. We're next taking Siren, which is like a neon red. And I'm going to do, I think I did two, yes, I did do two coats of this. So I'm going to cure the first coat. Although, look at the opacity. That's amazing. Um, and with the second coat, I'm only going to cure it for 30 seconds. So it's a half cure, do whatever a half cure is of the brand you use. 
Um, and I'm taking Red Hollow, which is just bonkers. We're getting sparkly today. Uh, I'm going to put some paper down so that I can collect what falls off and put it back in the pot. And I'm taking this metal cuticle pusher, which has a weird kind of captain hook thing going on at one end. Uh, and I'm covering the nail with that. I'm going to tap it off, tap off the excess. And before I pop it, oh no, I don't put it back in the lamp. Do I finish the cure? Sometimes I finish the cure with another 30 seconds. Sometimes I don't bother. Uh, I'm gently patting and then gently rubbing. This is called burnishing. So I'm just going to lightly burnish that. And what it does is it sort of rubs off everything apart from one thin layer of glitter. So you get this really super hollow, um, thin coating of glitter which is really good because you don't need to encapsulate it or anything. So that's that. And then what I'm going to do is top it with my assigned glitter diamond gloss. I have a separate one for glitters. Um, and then I'm going to cure that and buff it because we're going to paint on it. And I didn't want to paint straight onto the glitter because you're not going to get neat lines. It's going to be all, all grainy. So I'm going to give that a buff. And then we are going to take Alaska and this one. I'm shouting, aren't I? I'm always shouting. Well, I'm not always shouting, but when I do my voiceovers, I seem to be shouting a lot. I'll quieten the fuck down. Um, I'm starting with a line in the center. Don't worry about the neatness of that. That's just our marker. And then I'm going to do a bit to the left and a bit to the right um, and fill that in, not worrying too much about the bottom because we're going to go over that as well. This striping brush, I don't know where it's from, I'm sorry. Um, but if you're after a long, thin striping brush, which is great for long, thin stripes, um, then just Google um, long, thin nail art striping brush. Um, I don't think it was expensive. I'm now taking the brush from the bottle and I've done a bit at the bottom and I'm just using a small brush just to brush up some, I don't know, woolly, woolly, fluffy, furry, whatever you could use a dotting tool I did almost do this and dot along the bottom and then up the sides of the middle strip to give a kind of fluffy look um, that would look nice as well I've cured that and now I'm taking black out and I'm going to do a belt along the middle and then what do we do um, oh yes I will get to it when I get to it uh, so you can see I'm how I'm doing the stripes. I'm just kind of laying the brush and letting it do all the work. Aim it in the direction you want it and just let the bristles fall onto the nail and they'll kind of just, they'll do it all themselves. Um, I know that's easier said than done, but it, you know, it does. So that's having a cure. I'm now going to mix Luxury Gold Pigment, which uh, I'm going to mix it with the first base, which is the Gel Perfection Base Coat. Um, to get this kind of really pigmented gold uh, paint or polish. And I should have done his belt. I was aiming to do the same distance between belt and buckle at the top and bottom. But, you know, that went out the window straight away. So um, that's that. <laughs> and it gets a bit, it starts to get thicker where I was trying to get it neat. Um, it reminds me, do you remember, I mean, like, I think it must have been early 90s when, like, big buckles were the thing. Um, I used, and big, thick belts with these massive, you know, massive flower buckle or something. Oh, look, chocolate porn. Mmm. Uh, <laughs> so you can top this with diamond gloss or you can top it with super gloss, uh, a rubber top coat. Um, I, can't, I presume, yeah, I think this was diamond gloss. Um, and that is him done. And I love that. I would love a glittery coat. Actually, no, would I? I'm probably a bit old for a sparkly coat. Um, so that's our Father Christmas. Off you go. Got work to do. Um, and now we are going to do... I don't know the order I've put these in. So what's this one? I'm starting with powder blue. Um, and... Oh yes, I know which one this is. And then I'm taking chestnut. So I've done two coats of the powder blue. And with the chestnut, I'm going to draw some little antlers. Um, and I think I, I tried to get them even-ish, but I wasn't that, you know, wasn't that bothered if I, if I didn't. I don't imagine they are 
perfectly even in real life. I don't know. I've never looked long enough at a picture of some antlers. Are they symmetrical? I don't know. Uh, so I'm popping that on with the chestnut and then I think I might have flash cured as I went with some of these. Once you get something where you want it, just get it in the lamp um, and then it's not going to get messed up by anything. I'm taking parakeet and monsoon for my greens here. I didn't want to do dark greens on this one, so that's why I've gone for these two. I'm going to do just some dashes. I did actually, the ones I'm doing here, I did... I have nasal today. I'm having a an allergy day. That's why I don't always sound quite so nasal. I'll try and sound less nasal. No. Um, I, I do wipe some from the left and the right because I went out a bit too far. Um, but don't worry too much about this being that neat. This is going to be kind of a wreath type thing. I was going for, you know, when you see reindeer, uh, not reindeers, um, unicorns. Um, I think I've done a nail like it before where you have the horn and then some flowers under the horn and then just the eyes. I was going kind of, um, trying to do a reindeer version. So I'm now adding the darker green and I'm being a bit more sort of, um, what's the word? Purposeful with what I'm trying to do. So I'm going to do, so I've done some sort of aiming to the bottom left some aiming to the bottom right and then on the top top left and top right to give it a kind of bushy leaf what are they i don't know <laughs> so informative uh, i'm now taking ready or not i think but i did go over them i think i got it in shot um with a brighter red i've got some alaska and i'm going to rest that on top of the um antlers I'm purposefully kind of wiggling it a bit so it's not a perfectly straight line. Um, and then I suppose if it was a dead deer, it would fall in a relatively straight line. Um, <laughs> but let's just say it's a, an alive deer and it's moving around so the snow's not settled flat. So I'm taking Siren just to go over the red because it wasn't showing up very well. Um, and then I think that's that for that. And we're going to add some little closed eyes just by doing a couple of U shapes and I'm going to add some um, eyelashes. So it's a girl, it's not Rudolph, it's... I can't think of a girl's name beginning with R. <laughs> Rwanda, that's a country. Um... <laughs> ra, ra. Oh my goodness. Some eyelashes. I'm using chestnut for that as well. Um... Rowena? What was that program? Ramona. Do you remember that? She was weird. And I've taken Siren again to give her a little schnoz. And now I'm mixing Siren with a bit of the first base. And I'm going to try and give her some rosy cheeks. Rosie. She could be called Rosie. I thought of a name when I was doing it. What was it? It began with R. Um, ruh, 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 ruh. I don't know. Um, and then to sort of blend these out, I've got my circle on. I probably did too much. I'm drawing around it. I'm not putting any more product on my brush, but I'm using the product that's already there to draw the circle bigger and bigger. And as I use the outside of the circle to make the circle bigger, it's going to sort of thin out. Um, does that make sense? Yeah. No, maybe. Uh, so just drawing around the circle with the circle and it will just kind of fade out. I wasn't too fussed about whether it faded out loads or not. Um, and then I decided to, I cured that and do make it velvet. And I was going to do just a shiny red nose. But then when I took it out the lamp, I don't know. I didn't, I wasn't feeling the velvet. So I thought, let's see what that would have looked like. No, I want it all shiny. So she's going to be all shiny. R -r 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 the reindeer. Oh. Rudolph, Rudette, Rudetta. Um, so that's her. Hello. Give give me some better name options. Let me know down below what we should call her and I'll pick a winner. And you will win Pride. Uh, so I'm now taking Undressed. I'm going to do two coats of that. This one is inspired by Mazza Eve Nails. I think they're the only two that were from pictures I'd seen. Um, I'm going to do two coats of this and then taking Alaska and I'm going to start 
doing a penguin body uh, and I'm just going to use the brush from the bottle to create that shape that I'm I wasn't sure what I was going for <laughs> well I mean I was I was looking at a picture but I didn't know whether to do it more roundy or whatever so just kept at it until I thought that'll do <laughs> and isn't that the spirit <laughs> so we're now taking black out we're going to outline the penguin and then fill in parts of penguin bits <laughs> I've made a little dot in the center there and then completely ignored it <laughs> I was that was supposed to go to that dot so I try and I try and sort it out maybe he's got a side parting do penguins have hair no feathers surely feathers yeah they're birds I'm gonna google it I'm gonna google it right now what are penguins <laughs> made of <laughs> What are penguins made of? Let's have a look. Oh my goodness. Okay, let's find something interesting. I'm filling that in, you can see. Right, let's go to what I was looking at. Um, yes, they have feathers. Penguin feathers are short, overlapping and densely packed. The outer part of the feather is waterproof while the inner down section traps an insulating layer of air, keeping the penguin warm in the sometimes freezing water. Now there's a little tidbit for you. So now I'm just bringing the black in and a sort of V or, or lazy M shape, lazy sideways M, so nothing like an M. So we have a comment from Kathy Salvatore, who is glad the channel was recommended to her. She's been binge watching the videos and is now in the best mood. Uh, thank you for that comment. That means a lot. That's so nice to hear. Like, I love it. I love it. And I love all of you. And you're all amazing. And I, I love reading everyone's comments. And some of them are hilarious, um, especially after the <laughs> after the last video where I said about the um, person who commented something shitty I can't remember what it was and everyone was like fuck you <laughs> which I thought was really funny not my intention to you know inspire hatred but I don't think it's hate I just think it's people like you know thinking what is wrong with people um but I don't care about a negative comment I've had three um I think so I'm not doing too bad um so I'm now taking Tiger Lily we've done a nose we've given him some eyes um and now we're going to give him oh no it is her well Anyway, um, some earmuffs. I'm using whatever colour I just put on screen. We're all red? Ready or not? One of those two. Um, and I'm going to do that headband and then just do some... I say snowflakes. I don't know what I was thinking when I was doing these. X's and then dot. It makes no sense. They don't, they don't look like snowflakes. But contextually, they're fine. So I'm doing a few of those and some dots. And then I'm going to cure that and we're going to top it with um, Make It Velvet. I've obviously not rambled too much because I'm ahead of myself. Normally I'm far behind. Uh, so that's going in the lamp and here is Make It Velvet. There are two matte top coats. There's Make It Velvet and Make It Matte. Um, make It Matte is matte. Ta -da! And Make It Velvet is just kind of like matte on E. It's like super matte. Uh, I'm now taking the undressed again and I'm going to paint on some earmuffs, like the fluffy bits of the earmuffs um, on each side and then I'm going to give him, her, it a scarf. Boys can wear pink earmuffs if they want, you know. Uh, and then we're not going to cure that because I'm faffing a bit there. Oh, more faffage. I probably You could do this step with um, top coat if you don't want to use colour. Um, but I wanted to give the next bit of glitter that we're going to use a bit of colour underneath it. So I'm doing the scarf and the earmuffs and then I'm going to take a glitter that has a bit of a purpley pinky sparkle to it on white. So I thought that would go quite nicely with it. So I'm not curing these. I'll get to it. Jeez. I'm taking fairy dust and um, I'm going to sprinkle that over... The wet polish so we haven't cured it it's going to stick to that and then we're going to cure that and then dust it off so you're going to have a raw glitter um, scarf and earmuffs so cute I think that's my favorite I haven't named this one yet so let me know what you want to name it and um, I'll pick a name for her him he she whatever whatever they want to go by <laughs> What's next? We have Mrs. Claus. This polish is insane. Look at it. 
Oh my goodness. I it just and it's for I just cannot stress how amazing this color is. That's one coat coverage. I mean, I always do two coats, but still, that's that's insane for a glitter polish. So I haven't topped this, but I am wiping and buffing the second coat because I want to paint on it. And because it's a glitter polish, I thought it would have, you know, you're not going to have a completely smooth surface. It might be a bit bumpy, um, tiny bumps. So I've buffed that. And now I'm writing ho, 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 ho. My voice is going. I've been talking for too long. 20 minutes. Oh, shit, I'm only halfway through. <laughs> Are you ready to deal with another 20 minutes of this? Um, so I'm writing ho in different... This was inspired by a picture. Um, oh, it was one of my pictures. <laughs> it was inspired by me. Um, which I think was inspired by another picture, but that was years ago, I can't remember, um, of doing the hoes in different types um, of font. Um, so I've got lots. I didn't want to do just three hoes. <laughs> I wanted to have loads. I got holes. I got holes. Um, I've got to finish it. In different area codes. Right. Um, so I'm going to pop those on there. I think I might have flash cured as I went. Um, and then I will add some stars. Because, I, you know, I can always, always do with upping my star game. And if there's a chance to paint stars on anything, I'm painting stars. Because I love stars. Stars. Uh, just basic um, stars are easy although I always find one arm or leg or are they arms and legs yeah um, is kind of ends up looking a bit like I can't get the angle right normally of the bottom bottom left um, arm prong bit glare whatever <laughs> So I'm just adding some more coming off from the sides. If I'm doing kind of something, a pattern that goes all over the whole nail, I like to have some coming off at the sides or although that one, the whole thing's on there. So I'm a liar. Um, and this, uh, this one here. So you do your A and then cross, cross the cross of the A comes out further and then just join everything up. Um, am I gonna point the top of that one? We're we gonna give him a point. No, is he blunt? He's had his head chopped off. Decapitated star. Aww. Um, and then adding some dots. Dots just make everything look a bit more twinkly um, and give the illusion of intricacy, <laughs> which I like. And now some top coat porn. <sighs> mm. Damn. That's good. Oh, that polish is so good. I just, I'm, I, we need silence for this. So it's got so much depth to it. It looks like you could swim in it and it would just go on forever. So that's our hose in different area codes. And the next one, no, we're looking at this for longer. Okay. Oh, stop. That alarm makes me realize this is going to be a really late upload. Sorry about that. Uh, I'm now taking Starry Night, which is another awesome, just super opaque, just gorgeous color. Uh, I was throwing all the kind of, all the best ones at these. Although there, there's over 200 colours um, in the gel perfection range. I think it's 222 or have I not included the latest ones? I'm not sure. Um, and they're all amazing. Um, but some of these are some of my favourites. So I've cured two coats of that and I've done a very thin coat of the first base. Not thick because I don't want these floating around, these little um, hollow diamonds I just want them to cling onto this. If I'd done a thicker coat, they would all be swimming around. So I'm adding these and these are going to be inside our icicles. So I'm going to cure that. And then I'm going to top and buff, um, ready to paint. So that's gonna seal them in. You could go straight ahead and paint around them, but I don't think you'd get as neater lines around them as you would um, if you had a nice smooth surface. Um, so we're buffing that and dusting it off. Oh, tidy the desk. Time for a tidy. And get that on there. Get your shit together. Compose yourself. And then I'm going to outline these. Not, sorry, I've got the hiccups. Not booze hiccups, just general hiccups. 
Um, and I'm outlining these. Doesn't have to be like a perfect outline or anything because they're icicles and you know they're all wibbly wobbly and wonk ma jonk. So just however you see fit. I'm trying to give them a little bit of a point at the bottom. And then I don't think, did I flash cure those? No, I didn't. Um, so now I'm doing a line at the top and then we're going to just drag down with your brush. And when I drag down, um, I'm kind of pressure and, oh, I'm wiggling and then lift off. So you get that kind of wispy, that wispy bit at the end. Um, and whenever things join, whenever you're doing dripping or hanging or anything like that, I always want to round, round off the corners here like that where they meet the sort of band of colour at the top, just so it looks more drippy, more drippy. Uh, so I'm just, I think I got carried away and ended up adding loads of lines um, and just rounding all the corners. And then I'm going to put that in the lap. You could actually cover that with glitter, couldn't you? A really fine glitter. Oh. <gasps> do, 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 do. Do, 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 do. Right. Um, so there's a bit of top coat porn again. Um, and that is annoying because you cannot see very well the hollow here. But they were super hollow in real life. But on camera, the camera was like, no, you've given us too much sparkle today. We're done. So that's that one. We're now on to... I'm so nasal. Ugh. We're now on to the next one. I'm starting with a coat of pine forest. Is that? Yes. Um, because I was just going to do Pine Forest and then thought, these are Christmas. Let's, let's get some glitter in in the game. So I'm going over with a coat of evergreen and that was a good choice because look at that. Oh my goodness. It's so beautiful. I want to die. So I'm curing those and then we are taking Champagne Toast, which is a sparkly gold and these multicoloured hollow dots which are just bonkers i could just do a half an hour video of that just wiggling glitters around um and staring at them the voiceover would just be me going oh my god i love it <laughs> my voice is getting a bit hoarse now i don't like talking for this long and i have to listen to my bastard self back which is even worse nobody wants to listen to themselves i certainly do not um I'm creating a V. I'm, this is going to be a Christmas tree. Excuse my sniffing. Um, and I wasn't doing very well. I wasn't getting it very even, but I decided I'm done with trying to get it even. So I haven't cured it. And I'm putting these dots straight onto that gold polish. Um, you could use just a, a clear here. Or I think the first time I did this... I did the gold and then I put a thin coat of base coat down because if you sink the sequins into a colour, you know, the colour might sort of push up around the edges and cover some of them. But I, you know, I just took, took the risk. I'm such a daredevil. Um, I've cured that and now I'm taking um, a tiny amount of base coat just to stick this star down with and then I'll cure that as well make sure it's in place my voice is awful I'm nasal and hoarse I'm like a horse with a cold um so that was stuck with the first base and cured and now we're going to seal it all in you want to make sure I use diamond gloss but I uh, when I was doing it I was thinking I should be using super gloss because you don't want there to be any gaps where your hollow dots are and because it's that sort of you know metal material it doesn't want the the gel polish kind of wants to separate from it so just make sure that they're all covered um and you could leave it at that but this is me i'm gonna fuck faff about um so i took some alaska and i'm just going to do dot lift dot lift dot lift and just go over them and then cure those and then we'll have some more top coat porn I clearly don't don't watch a lot of porn because I don't know any porn music. <laughs> Not with the volume up anyway. Um, <laughs> so that's that topped and cured. <laughs> I'm losing my mind. I'm losing my mind. This is too long for one person to talk for. Right, next. What's next? Get the fuck on with it. We now have birthday suit. 
and we're going to do two coats I assume yes we are um, and then we're going to take my screen at the bottom is showing this already right poison ivy and pine forest and we're going to be doing a wreath with these I'm going to start by just doing a circle again me and circles I say again this was like 20 videos ago I said this but me and circles we're not great friends um, so but that's just going to kind of map out where we want our wreath and I'm going to just do some strokes um, coming out from that trying to get it to go all the same way um, and then I'll do them coming down the other side um, sort of pointing in the opposite direction like that um, again this is the first this is kind of you know this doesn't have to be neat as you can see <laughs> um, just popping that on there and then I'm going to go over it so I'm going to cure that and then do the same with pine forest and while I'm doing that I have another comment from Jackie Hennings and she's all the way in South Africa how crazy is that there's people in Hawaii and South Africa and um the states australia someone commented the other day from where was it um i don't know somewhere somewhere distant and exotic um and that's so cool we're just all scattered all over the place all here enjoying the, you know one thing me i'm kidding nails <laughs> can you imagine if i thought like that that would be horrendous um so i'm taking red ready or not yes possibly um and i'm going to do a bow oh my goodness i faffed about with this bow so much um but i cut all the faffing out because it's, it wasn't fun to watch it wasn't fun faffage um so i'm going to do that and i think i flashed that at this point because um i was undecided of what was going to happen next i'm doing some little ribbony ribbony bits just really basic a bit like that and then pulling another bit down so you get kind of little v at the bottom um of those ribbons um but yes sorry thank you jackie for your comment welcome thank you for being here um i appreciate it and now i'm just outlining ah oh, see this is what i faffed with for ages this is like take a million because i outlined the whole thing didn't like it but it looked too plain by itself so that's what we're going with outlining that with white giving it the kind of open top bits and then i'm taking the luxury gold and first base mix but again you can use a gold polish or you can do whatever color you like um, on this bit here adding some dots i tried to keep the red ones towards the um inside and outside so it went more on the cream than it did um on the green because otherwise you don't see them as well and then i realized that i liked the gold and this nail was kind of looking like it was missing something so i thought i'll outline the whole thing with that gold which again this is take too because I outlined it and then thought I would sort of brush it all like stroke it all inwards so it kind of faded in but I didn't like it so that came off and we're outlining again um and then I think that was that for this one I could have possibly done a gold bow would have looked nice wouldn't it but too late too little too late so that's going in the lab <laughs> um Right, in we go. And now topping with diamond gloss, of course, of course. Let me know how you all are, how you're doing. We're out of lockdown soon, I think. On the second, I'm allowed to start working again. But we have different tiers in our country. So tier one is the safest, I think. Yes. And then tier three means you're fucked, basically. I'm in tier two. Um, so I'm taking damson now and I'm going to do sort of two thirds of the nail with this. Um, just use my striping brush to neaten up that line um, and I'll do two coats of that um, yes we're in tier two which means we're not allowed people in the house and if we socialize outside we have to have a minimum of six people and stay away from each other this is lilac lights oh look at this it's amazing oh fuck that was another alarm you're just here witnessing my day now <laughs> This video is too long to get done in one sitting without any interruptions. This is li lilac, lilac, lilac lights. Just the one lilac. <laughs> um, and that's two coats of that on there as well. And then I'm going to do, I plan to do a really thin line, but it got thicker. So it, it's kind of a medium thin line now. Um, 
and just going across the join. When you go across this join, it was best to do the line on the um, top color because then you're going to get a more even line than if you did it on the glittery color. And then giving some loops for bows. Somebody asked about bows recently. I'm not, I don't know, I'm not a bow kind of girl. So I haven't, you know, practiced any super fancy bows or anything like that. But um, a basic bow, that'll do. Uh, I'm now taking super base and these Moonlight AB crystals um, because I'm, I'm thrown because they have some purple in i'm thrown because the <laughs> i pointed to my finger earlier said still red polish and then that just said pointed out that under my nail is is red polish not gross stuff but because i've switched around the order in which i've put these together in the video it's uh doesn't make sense but anyway um i'm topping this with diamond gloss making sure not to get it on top of the diamond and then that's that one a little present thought that was quite a classy one you know, God, look at my nails. They're awful. It is polish, I promise. But I don't, you know, if you don't believe me, then I don't care. Um, I'm now taking, what was that? Poison Ivy? I think so. And f doing two coats of that. And now I'm adding a coat of foil it. It's the same thickness as you would with gel polish. This is a foil gel. It's just amazing. You just get perfect coverage all the time. And I'm taking this shattered green transfer foil, all from diamondglitters.co.uk, um, and rubbing that on there for longer than is necessary. Just making sure I always start by rubbing down the center first, so the center's neat, and then kind of press it out to the sides and iron out um, any creases you might have. Um, and then just going over and patting in case there's any bits I missed. I don't think there was or any creases. Um, and then I top and buff this as well. Do I? Yes. Um, because I want to paint on it and I just feel like the foil's going to be too slippery to paint on. I'm not going to get a nice crisp line with anything. Um, that was my theory anyway. Um, I'm now taking black out. Oh, is this the last one? I think. Maybe. I can't remember. Um... Someone commented the other day saying that she likes watching the videos but she has to turn the volume down because I'm so ditzy. Let me tell you something, okay? I'm not ditzy. <laughs> I just sound it in all my videos and I'm really aware that I do. Um, but I'm not ditzy. Um, I, just, I just have so much to say and get out and I... You know, I get tongue tied and I hate I hate editing and I hate doing voiceovers. So not because I, I hate doing the videos. What am I doing here? I was deciding whether they should loop down and then swoop up or swoop and then loop up. But then realized it doesn't matter. Um, I, I don't like listening to myself talk. I get a little bit nervous doing the voiceovers. Um, so, yeah, if I come across as ditzy, so be it. I'm not. Very well educated, I'll have you know. It's in the uh, top class for every class, so whatever. Um, <laughs> but I did reply, naturally. Um, right, stop bitching. What are, we, what are we doing? We're doing an elf. So I've done his um, like lapel collar type thing. Um, I'm doing a couple of buttons. I'm doing it all in white because I want to do them in yellow and red and I didn't think they'd show up very well on green. So I'm giving them a white base to start with. And then I'll cure that and go in with my red and yellow. We have another comment from Studio XLIV. Um, she says, thank you so much. She's a new salon and hasn't been um, doing uploads for the same reason as um, I mentioned in the last video. Someone said they didn't want to do it because they're worried about shitty comments. But now she's going to um, because she, um, you know, feels a bit more confident to do it. So that's fantastic. That's really good to hear. Thank you for your comment. Um, fuck the haters. Um, now I'm taking royal red and I was going to do the whole collar in this and I always do sort of the outline last and then I thought hmm should I leave it with an outline so I thought I'll go a bit thinner because that was halfway between not having an outline and having an outline was having a very thin outline and then I went and took Piccadilly Circus and decided to do it in yellow not sure how I feel about it what do you think I think it should have all been red. Anyway, um, so I'm colouring in the buttons and I was going to do the buckle in gold. I'm going to move. I need to lie down. It's been a long, oh, it's been a long video. 
Um, <laughs> I was going to do the button, the buckle in gold, but I figured the yellow is kind of meant to be gold, isn't it? Like it's meant to imply a shiny gold button. So that I'll do it all in yellow. And where, where we put the yellow in that circle, it kind of shrinks in a bit and gives itself its own very thin white border. Um, but that's fine. <laughs> Couldn't draw a line that thin, so I'll take it. Um, and then that's going to go in the lamp and then we'll have a bit more top coat porn, shall we? Woo! And this video is going to be really, really late at night because I've got to save it and then I've got to upload it, which takes bloody hours. So I apologise. Um... But if I get it in by midnight UK time, GMT, then I count that as a Thursday video. <laughs> so we're topping that and now we have a sparkly elf. I thought about doing a Buddy the Elf type one, but um, I decided against it for no memorable reason. So that is all of them. I hope you like them. Let me know which, which blah, 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 blah. let me know in the comments which one is your favourite. Um, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Um, and if you like nails, then subscribe to this channel because that's what it's all about. Um, thank you so much for being here. I really, really, really appreciate it. You guys are awesome and I love all your comments. Um, so thank you so much for that. And I will be back on, what day is it today? Thursday. So I'll be back on Sunday with a new video. Don't know what it will be yet, but it'll be festive, I'm sure. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Bye. Bye.